at Google Cloud Next, and I am with Abhishek and Manjul. They're going to talk to us about a masterclass in managing billions of Google Cloud storage objects. Amazing. So, can each of you give us a little introduction? What do you do here at Google? And give us a little synopsis of one of the sessions that you gave today. Absolutely. I'm uh, Abhishek Lal. I'm a product manager with uh, Google Cloud Storage. I uh, work with an incredible team of folks who work on storage management features. Hi, I'm Manjul Sahai. I'm one of the lead product managers on Google Cloud Storage team. I've been in cloud storage services for maybe about a decade or so. So very excited to be here with the team. And uh, today's session, which we took, uh, Masterclass in Managing Billions of Storage Objects, was basically helping customers uh, get introduced to our suite of management tools so that they can manage storage at scale easily and efficiently. That's what it is. We had some great new exciting features, a wonderful demo by Abhishek, and we had a customer come and share their own story of using these. Oh, amazing. Okay, so so in, in terms of a little broader, right? So you've both been in the storage domain for a long time. So why why is it that customers find it difficult to manage storage at this huge scale? Yeah, that's a great question. So I mean, storage has been around for many, many decades. I think what changes with cloud storage, the scale has really changed. Like we have customers who store billions of objects, there's some with trillions in Google Cloud Storage. And these are spread across thousands of buckets, tens of projects, and storage is such a core service that it is a part of hundreds of applications. And all this has to be managed by maybe two to four administrators. So how do you do that really effectively and efficiently? Because if you don't, you land up in security compliance issues or your costs are out of order, or you're just spending too much time doing stuff which you'd rather be doing something more interesting. So this is the problem of storage management at scale, which is basically happening more and more with customers nowadays. Right, okay. So, so what are some of the tools and new features that you discussed in your session that can help with this management? Absolutely. So uh, we uh, introduced several new capabilities and these were spread across both analysis and actions. So for analysis, when admins are looking to answer key questions like, where is my data sprawl? How is data size growing? We introduced storage insights data sets. This is a very powerful capability in which one configuration you can go across all your estate. So hundreds of projects, thousands of buckets, billions of objects, you create a single config and it will create an automated pipeline of bringing your entire object and bucket level metadata into BigQuery. So on a daily, regionally consistent snapshot basis, we put all of that data together for you. Now, once that queryable data set is ready, you want to know how to quickly get started and ask these questions. So for that, we introduced a very powerful capability with Gemini where now you can use the power of Gemini to ask simple natural language questions of your data. And Gemini will go and create the right SQL and go produce the answers for you. Be sure to check out the demo because we have created visualizations as well as the most commonly asked questions from Gemini into the interface. Finally, on the action side, we introduced a powerful new capability of bucket relocation. Customers at all the time are looking for co-locating their storage with compute. This is very, very good for reducing latency, optimizing performance, and in all of those cases, moving buckets is very hard because you have to change configurations of applications, you have to orchestrate all the steps. With bucket relocation, a single command, you can now initiate moving a bucket from multi-region to dual region or single region or even across geographies. Downtime is very, very limited to when you execute a finalized command. All of these features and exciting new capabilities will be part of an upcoming storage management hub capability. So very, very exciting set of new features. Wow, yes, and that's quite a few. So many exciting things coming at once. You did, of course, mention one of the stars of the moment, Gemini, right? So can you tell us a little bit more about the insights we can get with Gemini? Yeah, I mean, uh, we're very proud of what the team we have delivered here. 
So I'll give a simple example. Say a very simple question customer wants to ask, how many buckets I have with JPEG image files which are outside of, let's say, US regions. A very simple question like that, if they have to do it today, they would have to make millions of API calls, collect all the data, and then get to this answer. With Gemini, you just ask that question in natural language, no SQL, no pipeline, none of that. And off you come out with an answer to that. So we are taking the advantage of Gemini and we have done a lot of work to really make it work well on the insights data set where customers can simply come and pick one of the pre-created queries we have or just type their question and get these answers. I mean, we are very, very excited about this very innovative capability. I think uh, we are some of the leaders in this area to offer this and it really makes it simple and easy for our users and customers. So yeah, we are very excited about this one. Yeah, that's amazing. What you were mentioning with before, right? If we can maybe help some of this be simpler, then we can spend more time doing the things that we enjoy in terms of coding, developing. Um, and you mentioned, this is off script a little bit, but yes. you mentioned uh, you, know, you can use a pre-created query that we give to customers. Can they create their own custom queries as well? Yeah, absolutely. They can type create their own queries, do any kind of in-depth analysis, and it will kind of come up with the right answers. Almost looks like and sounds like a magic, but yes, it does yeah. work very well. Yeah, so based off of your own data, right? You can make that easy natural language question happen for your internal organization. Wonderful, so speaking of can the customers use this, can you share any customer success uh, data points or stories with us about the adoption of these features? Yeah, absolutely. So we have uh, a customer who was able to, with Insights dataset, create a single data set spanning more than 450 projects. And that was thousands of buckets. So that's the scale at which customers are now starting to use new features. On a daily basis, we are processing so many records that we crossed trillions of records per month at this point. So at that scale is what data sets are being populated. You can imagine GCS is an at scale service. Across our customers, we have a lot of usage uh, coming. Another key customer success story has been with object retention. This is a great way of preventing uh, ransomware attacks where someone can come in and modify the data. So we have another great customer success story where with object storage, uh, sorry, object retention, they were able to protect their data with that. So a lot of good, exciting customer stories. Right, and just bringing it back again to making this simpler helps keep organizations more secure, right? Absolutely. Yeah, That's the whole goal for us, like make it so simple and easy. Customers can say secure, compliant, and manage costs, which is very key concern for many of them. Yeah, that's amazing. Such amazing work that you're doing. Really, really interesting stuff. Make sure to check out the full talk. We'll have it linked in the description to learn more, to see the demo. Thank you so much for being here with us today and chatting with us and have a great rest of your next. Yep, thank, thank you. you. Thank you Thank you for having us.